Guys, what is going on? And I told you guys after the Cleveland Indians franchise, uh, when we won the World Series, that we were going to change uh, franchises, and we did. And I wanted to do a National League team, and that's what I went ahead and done. And we are the Philadelphia Phillies. I decided to do it. It was either them or the Mets, and I feel like Phillies we could probably... Uh, Rebuild a lot easier, I would say. I feel like for every reason the Phillies are. I know the Mets has got those pitchers, but I don't know what else they got. So we're looking at the Phillies today. So we got Aaron Nola, starting pitcher, highest overall. He's going to be our future ace. Or Vince Velasquez, the dude's a beast. We got Adubo Herrera, Mike Mikel Franco, Jeremy Hellickson, Freddie Galvis. We're going to be looking to fra trade Freddie Galvis or Jeremy Hellickson, uh, Heckner, Neris, Neris. Uh, Cesar Hernandez, Charlie Morton, and that's basically it for our top guys. Uh, let's go to Class A. We got Charlie Morton down there. Emmanuel Burris is down there. Not nothing else. Uh, Roman Quinn. Now we got a Triple A. This is where we probably have our best players uh, down in the uh, minor leagues. So we got Vince Velasquez down there. He's probably going to get called up. You got Hervis Medina, 27 years old. Uh, then we got J.P. Crawford, shortstop of the future. That's what I said. I kind of wanted to get rid of uh, um, uh, Freddie, uh, Freddie Galvis. I didn't think there was a reason to keep him. Uh, the PS4 noise is starting now. Sorry about that. Uh, then we got Mark Appel. That's why I want to get rid of Jeremy Hellickson. Anybody else who really is just that good? I wouldn't say. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say. I, I thought I downloaded the uh, ones with the draft. I don't know if I did. Probably didn't. But who knows? Yeah, it's not all seen the Kimono yet, so it sucks for me. Oh, that's what I wanted to do, but I can. I guess we're not there. All right. Uh, let's go to lineups. First base, Ryan Howard. You're gone. We are shipping this dude somewhere. I we don't have nobody to back him anything. We're doing it all. Whoever wants him gives me the best thing for him. He's gone. Honestly, guys, he was. Oh God, nobody wants him. What do I do, guys? Fuck. Uh, and we'll be ready. No trade was found. I don't want to release the dude until I find a something back in return for like somebody to replace him. Um, let's go to first baseman and see. We got Pedro Alvarez and Chris Davis, but I don't know if I want to take chances. Take chances on a Pedro Alvarez, Greg Bird. That would be a nice addition. Young prospect, 72 overall, B potential. I would take him any day of the week. Uh, Chris Caldwell, Justin Smoke. No, nothing there. Nothing there. And I'm just looking at people that are MLB ready or something down there in the uh, minor league system because I know I'm not going to get anybody on like the MLB rosters. There's no way or that I would, um, to be honest. Uh, De Holy, he's pretty good this season. I think he's Ricky or whatever. Uh, nothing there. Tyler White, 25 overall B potential. Or I could take John Singleton, who is a beast. Power versus righty, power versus lefties. You know, all that's down, but it'll go up once, you know, he's he's ready to come up. Uh, that's not a bad one either. Tyler Moore, that's not a bad one, but he's a deep potential. That's that's actually pretty bad. Uh, Chris Johnson, no. James, I don't like anybody there. Dan Vogel, Batch, B potential. I don't know. Uh, da, da, da. Josh Bell. Duty the A potential. Wait, well, what if we could steal him away from the Pirates? Let's just go to all. They would want Jeremy Hellickson. No. See, that's that's not gonna happen. Nope. Not gonna happen. They want too much for him. Sorry. Uh, I think we might have to try. Let's try Greg Bird. Nick Williams. That's, I don't know. That might be our best bet, but we're going to try something else. The other guy we had on our radar. 
If we did have anybody else on Yeah, we did. We'll try one of these guys. Jared Eikhoff, hell no. Darnell Sweeney, no. Alright, Tyler White. I'm just going down the line here. Uh, see? They just... I would just take it if it was just Cody Ashey. Uh, Dylan, I don't know. I think I might take that trade, actually. For A.J. Reed, who just got called up a couple days ago. I feel like this is a big thing what we could actually take. We're going to do it. I'm doing it. We need a freaking first baseman for the future. Now we're going to go release Mr. Uh... Brian Howard, sorry, bud. You're gone. You're gone. If you place Ryan Howard on release waivers, he cannot. He is not claimed. You will be required to pay. God bless a f what? Eighteen million? What is wrong with you people? I know he was good and all, but damn. That was crap. He's worth that much money. Oh my god, I don't know he was getting paid, but damn. He was getting paid. Now we're going to go try to get a first baseman that we can use this year. I don't want to bring AJ Reed up just quite yet. There's no reason to rush him up to the major leagues. I think I want to, you know, have him down there. You know, get his game a lot better. So we're going to go have, grab a quick guy we can get rid of later if we don't really need him. Yonder Alonzo, let's see. Cesar Hernandez, Jeremy Helix, and Mark Appel, Freddie Galvis, Tyler Goodell. Uh, fuck it. We'll just use Tommy Joseph. Now let's go see what they want for Freddie Galvis. I know, like the first year, guys, we're going to be crap. There's no way around that. So I don't want to make anybody mad if we're going to be that bad. Oh, I could take that trade. I really would. And get rid of Ronnie Rodriguez. He's fucking 37. And we would have Pedro Alvarez our first baseman for the year. This trade makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. But I don't know. The salary cap feel like it would be to take a big hit. Uh, Joey Rickard. Pretty good. Uh, I can't say that guy's name. But it's pretty good. Or we could take Blake Swihart. That's Oh, Steve... Stephen Wright, that's a good trade. But, uh, or we could take Aaron Hicks, solid outfielder, major league ready. Uh, he's cheap. We could sell him, I mean, like, get rid of him for something down the road if we need to. Now, obviously, if you don't like any of the trades I'm doing, let me know what you thought I could have done with him. And I tell me why you thought it made sense. But, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm liking these trades so far. Brady Aiken, it's not a bad pickup. That guy's going to be pretty good, be potential overall. But our pitching staff is uh, pretty good. So I just want to make this a 10-minute video. This might be the last uh, trade we do. Oh, uh, let's see. I like... I use Pedro Alvarez trade to be honest. It gives us our first baseman for a couple of months in the season until we bring AJ Reed up. I don't. I like that trade, but I don't see why it's worth it. All right, so we could do Lucas Duda or Pedro Alvarez. Mm, it's tough. Let's go look back at that other trade. Oh, the salary wouldn't take that much of a big hit. It's not that much different. Let's go see at the Baltimore one. Well, that one will go down a lot more. We're taking Lucas Duda. We're picking up Lucas Duda, guys. All right. Let's go.
and we're going to simulate uh, spring training and create our lineups and then this, this uh, video will be all over so player search whatever I know all this shit get out of here lineups we got Cesar Hernandez at second DH Jimmy Paredes center fielder probably one of our best players Herrera Lucas Duda batting cleanup and then Mikhail Franco right behind him wow no that's back there yeah but there we go Andres Blanco at shortstop Nick Williams at left field. Oh, we might be able to switch that. No, we ain't got nobody there. And Edge has got to go back down. Uh, Cameron Rupp at catcher. That's fine. And Peter Borges at right field. Now, let's go look at our pitching rotation. We got Aaron Nola, Jeremy Hellickson, Jared Eikhoff, Adam Morgan, and Zach Elfrin. We could bring up Christian Velasquez uh, any day. Probably should do it, but... That'll be on next episode. I'll go. Sh I'll show you the updated uh, lineups and pitching rotation with the other people and stuff like that. Uh, next episode. Tell me what you thought of the trades. How I could have done them better. Even though I think I did pretty good this time. I know the Tampa Bay Rays franchise had a lot of what seemed to be retarded ones, but once they got later on in the season, they worked out. That's what I'm hoping these do. Even though I think these are actually pretty good trades. But make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and tell me what you think of the trades and the new series. And I